We're about eight hours away from opening ceremonies, and as you can see, the streets all around the Olympic Stadium are dead. They're quiet. They're quiet because security within a half mile radius of the stadium has locked down everything. They want to make sure those opening ceremonies for 91,000 people are totally secure. Now, we don't have tickets for tonight's ceremonies, so we're going to go to BC House Canadian Pavilion and enjoy the festivities with other Canadians. Why don't you join us for the ride? To suggest that Beijing's Olympic partners have overstated almost everything about these games wouldn't be an exaggeration. We've seen that already in the efficient organized process of registering athletes and officials to the stunning venues. It's also clear, abundantly clear, in how they approach security. Checkpoints, eyes in the sky, and the ever-present National Armed Forces are always clearly in view. So begins our journey to celebrate the opening ceremonies with about two million of our closest Beijing friends and fellow Canadians. Everywhere we turn, security blocked our route. Final destination, the city's biggest and most storied venue, Tiananmen Square. <laughs> The opening ceremony is about 10 minutes away and the atmosphere here is unbelievable. There are probably millions of people trying to get into Tiananmen Square right now. We're just on the corner of it right now and it is, I've never seen anything like it. I'm so happy to be down here and be a part of this. We got about 15 more minutes and then the fireworks are going to go off and it's the start of the games. This, this is what it's all about right here. To suggest that each and every one of Beijing's 15 million citizens have embraced these games wouldn't be one of those overstatements. Old and young are treating these games as China's showcase to the world. Sometimes their enthusiasm borders on uncontrollable exuberance. While it's not two million overexcited Chinese Olympic fans, our fellow Canadians at British Columbia Pavilion were no less passionate. <laughs> Under exploding Beijing skies, our journey reinforces one important point. Be it a city intoxicated by Olympic fever or a handful of Canadian travelers, these games will excite the world like no other.